Hey everybody, so in today's video we're going to build out the login page of our full stack blog application. In the previous video we built out our register page and the way our functionality is set up. After the user registers, they're going to be redirected to our login page. After they log in, they'll be redirected to our home page. So for today's video, we're going to register a user, log in with the user, and confirm that we're redirected back to our home screen. So with that said, let's jump in and get started. So within the page.js, let's start out with our imports. First, let's make sure that we have the use client at the top of our import statements. Next, we want to bring in use state. We're going to use state to manage the input for the email and password in order to log in. Then we want to use sign in from next off. This is what's going to control the sign in functionality within our application. And finally, we want to import use router. After the user logs in, we want to have the functionality to route the user or redirect the user to a different window. So with our imports cared for, now let's move down to the login function component. The two state variables that we want to use in this particular window is going to be for email and password. We're going to initialize these the same way we did in our register window by having empty strings within the use state. Next, we want to declare a variable for use router, so we'll call it router. Now we want to move on to creating the handle submit function. This is the function that will be within the form inside of the, our JSX. That's going to allow the user to enter their email and password. Next, we want to create the handle submit function. Now, this is going to be an asynchronous function that handles the form submission event. Then we want to make sure that we prevent the default submission. Then we want to create a little bit of validation the same way we did with our register page. The first validation is just going to be to confirm that the password and email are not empty. And if they are empty, we'll, we'll send the user a toast error or a toast notification saying that all fields must be filled in. The next validation we want to create is to confirm the password length is at least six characters. If it is not, we'll send a message back to the user. And then finally, once we have the validations confirmed, we're gonna create a try catch block. Within the try catch block, we wanna create a variable named res that's gonna hold the sign in process so that we can access it later on. Then we wanna create an if else statement, basically confirming that if there's no error and we're successfully able to log in, we're gonna push the user to our home page else we're going to send an error to the user saying that an error occurred while logging in. And then just for troubleshooting purposes, we want to console.log that error just so that we can review it and troubleshoot as needed. So now let's move on to the actual JSX that we'll see on the screen. First, let's start out with a section HTML tag and we'll give it a class name. And inside of the class name, we want to have the same styling that we have within our register page. So feel free to navigate there and just copy and paste it over or feel free to type in what you see here on the screen. I also have the GitHub link in the description box. Then inside of the section tag, just to make sure that everything carried over, let's add in a simple hi everyone, just to see what we have on the screen. We should see that we have the container that's light gray and it has the hi everyone message that we just keyed in. So now with the hi there removed, let's start with the actual styling on this page. So first let's bring in an H1 tag and within that H1 we'll just have login and inside of the H1 tag, let's add a class name. And in that class name, let's just add some styling. If we go back to our localhost 3000, we will see the login page now has the same styling as we do on our register page. So now underneath our H1, let's add in a welcome back message to the user just to give it a little bit of a personable touch. So underneath the H1, let's add a div and inside of that div, we'll add a class name. And here we'll just add a little bit of styling within the class name. This particular div is going to not only hold the div for our welcome back message, but it's also going to hold the actual form as well. And inside of this div, let's add one more div and we'll just have a message here of welcome back. Let's save our page. And once we get back to localhost, we'll see that we have the welcome back message here and we have a little bit of a border that kind of gives a slight platform field and we have the background of this set to white but let's let's go ahead and style the welcome back as well so that it's more consistent with our overall front inside of this div let's add a class name 
and we'll just center the text. We'll like for it to be large. The font will be light and we'll style the text. And on smaller screens, we wanna reduce that text because it can be a little large if you wanted to use this in a mobile view. So let's just save and go back to localhost 3000 and we see we have the welcome back message style now. So now back inside of our page.js, we wanna add in our form. This will be the same form that we use for our register page. We're gonna use it here within the login page. The only difference will be is that we're not gonna use the username for login. We decided to use the email instead. So underneath the div, let's go ahead and if you want, feel free to go to the register folder and click on the page.js and you literally can just copy and paste this in. Um, I'll take a few seconds to kind of go over the main functionality of this form. Inside of the form, we have our on submit handler. That's gonna be handling the submit function that we created earlier, right here. And we just have some styling here, personal preference, not really relevant to the functionality. But within the form, or within the div, I should say, we do have an on change method. And we're gonna to look to set our email and password to what the user keys in on the front end. So as they're keying in that information, that's what we're capturing in our state. And that's what Next.js is gonna to use to confirm if we have a user that's already registered, then they'll be able to log in. And then right here, we have our login button. The big piece from this is I just have the type set to submit, but it should still work whether you have this or not, but I just like to key it in or have it enter here as a best practice. If we go ahead and save our page, we'll see that we now have the login page listed here with welcome back and we have the user inputs and inside of it, we have the placeholders for your email and your password. And we also have our login button listed here. So before we test out the login functionality, I'm just gonna add a simple message here asking if the user needs an account. It is gonna be the exact same thing that we have on our register page. The only difference will be is that it's gonna redirect the user to the register page versus the login page since they're already on the login page. So let's go ahead and add that in now. So underneath the div right below the, the form closing tag, let's go ahead and we can add in this the code listed here. Basically all we have is another div that's gonna be styled and we have a link and within the A, we could have used the next link here, but I just decided to use the, the standard A HTML tag. We just have the href directing the user back to the register screen, which is the main thing. And I just have personal preference of styling. Feel free to add whatever you like. And then inside of the A, we also have a span asking if the user needs an account and then to redirect them back to the register page if they click on it. So if we click save, we'll see that we now have the need an account link listed here. And just to test it out, we'll see that we're redirected to our register page. And since we're at our register page, let's go ahead and test out our functionality. So I'm going to create an account. And what should happen from here is once the account is created, I should be redirected to the login window. So let's test it out now. And we can see that after we've registered successfully, we've been redirected to our login window. And now that we're at the login window, um, my browser went ahead and saved my credentials. Um, I use it quite a bit. Um, but if it's not already typed in, just enter in the email and the password that you just created. And if you click on login, we should be redirected back to our home screen. And these buttons should change to create post or create, I believe, and also log out. So let's test out that functionality now. And as you can see, we're redirected back to our home screen that we haven't built out just yet. And it just says, hi there. And we know that next off is working because we now see that we have the create post and log out here because we have an authenticated user that's logged in. So great, we've built our register functionality and our login page functionality. In our next video, we're gonna work on building out our home page. So we're gonna connect our page.js to our backend and we're gonna retrieve that data from the backend and display it on our page.js. 
I appreciate you watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. Consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or need any help with anything, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions I can. Until the next video, take care. Peace.